Hello, this is Marmos here and welcome back to Let's Play Galactic Civilization 3. So, let's continue where we left off and spend that ideology point because I didn't actually do that. I'll grab the constructors. I have three pretty good locations for mining star bases, so that makes the most sense. That also means I don't really need the constructor from my shipyard right now. I can get started on a colony ship instead. I should also assign my second planet as a sponsor here. Now, I won't get a lot of production from this planet because the distance penalty will be pretty bad. 52% distance decay penalty. But this is my only shipyard at the moment, so I might as well assign that planet anyway. It did save 3 turns, so it's not terrible. Alright, let's move all these constructors now. I can get a starbase around here, that will give me Durantium and Tholium. So that's useful. I can get one down here to get the Elerium and Durantium. And the third one could be either here or here. I think I prefer this location. So we'll send it this way. Off you go. And that's that. Next turn. Plus 31. Not bad. I still have over 1000. I could use that money to buy a technology from the faction, from the race, we already made contact with. Let's have a chat with them then. So what can we buy from them? Planetary improvement. Oh yeah, this is actually useful. This will allow me to claim a new tile on my planets. That will be useful on my second planet. So what I like about this screen is that if I give him credits, for example, if I offer credits, the game will tell me how much I actually need to give him was the minimum price that he will actually accept. So if we offer credits, we can see that we need to offer 305. If I offer less than that, even if I offer 304, he is not going to accept that. It's not enough. So 305. That's useful. Okay. Now I can actually claim a new tile on my planet. And I can go for this one right here. And this will be a factory. Then I will get a bonus from my colony capital and from this factory. So that's quite useful. Go for the upgrade first. Then build a basic factory and then we can upgrade the Xeno factory after that. That should be faster because we'll get the adjacency bonuses. Keep exploring. Okay, next. I still need to explore these two systems right here. So that would be useful. I might want to move manually or something. Or I could get a really basic ship once I'm done with the colony ship. These two systems might have a colonizable planet. Galactic event plus 20% soldiering minus 2 diplomacy. Okay, the diplomacy modifier is kind of bad. But it's not the end of the world. Research is done. So now, what can we go for? I should go for the path, because that will unlock some of my improvements. Some useful ones too. This is both an influence improvement and an approval improvement. I don't really need approval right now, but I could use an influence improvement on my second planet. So let's go for that. That's only 3 turns, so not a big deal. There's the constructor. So this will be a starbase. And a mining ring. So that's our first Durantium mine and the first Tholium mine. We should get an event about that. Which doesn't actually do anything. It just kind of tells you that this is your first mine of this type. Alright. So now I can use these resources for some of the ships. I will have some designs that were created automatically. For example this guy. Anything that's prototype requires a special resource. So this ship, for example, uses a prototype Durantium driver and it requires one Durantium. I can go into a ship designer myself and check all of these things. So if I create a new design, I only have access to tiny hulls right now. And go into equipment. I can see that I can use a regular hyperdrive, but I can also use a prototype hyperdrive, which requires Promethion, something I don't have currently. I only have Tholium and Durantium at the moment. So I could use Durantium for some of these modules. 
I can use Tholium for the prototype survey module. Which I actually might, perhaps. I can use Durantium for some of the weapons. So, prototype Durantium driver. That was exactly the ship that I was looking at just a moment ago. It used prototype Durantium driver. And that's a better weapon than this one. Laser. Yeah, the laser is not very good, as you can clearly see. But if I use the prototype Durantium driver... No, not like that. Remove the laser first. Remove the laser. And add the prototype Durantium driver. That's 8 attack, so that's quite a significant difference. But we can obviously also see it on the tooltip. Anyway, cancel. I'll look a little bit more into the designer, or I'll go through all these modules once I get some more options, once I get some technologies that will unlock new modules. But the designer is pretty simple. You just create a new design, you pick a hull. The hull doesn't really make a difference, as long as all these numbers on the right side are the same. This is purely cosmetic. You can modify the appearance of your ship, but this is also purely cosmetic. I could change the scaling, I could make it look really ridiculous. But again, this is purely visual, this will not actually affect anything at all. And then you go into equipment, there are five categories of modules. There are drives, that's fairly self-explanatory. There are weapons, defenses, which I currently have none of modules and support. Currently there's just a stasis field module, which increases the range of all ships in the fleet, and it requires one Promethion, and a hit point augment, which requires Durantium, and that's something I could use. So, what's this? Oh yeah, that's the constructor. So this will be a starbase right here. Yep, starbase and add the mining ring, like so, done. So now we have two Tholium and two Durantium. I'll probably use some of that, I mean, that's the whole reason why I went for constructors in the first place. Research, so that's the path. Let's have a look at that whole tech tree. So, this one, let's see. Boss the approval of nearby worlds. This is a Starbase module. I don't really need that right now. The Influence module is quite good. Morale. This is both Influence and Approval improvement. Interesting. Let's check Engineering. Ion Drive. Interstellar Survey. Life Support. Plus one ship range. I think it's better to focus on expansion a little bit. We could go for extra research, that's never a bad idea. Especially early in the game. Voluntary specialization. Plus one food, plus 10% growth, or plus one total production. I think I like the research right now, let's go for the research. The more research the better, especially at this stage of the game. How's that colony ship? 10 more turns to get the colony ship, alright. And that's our next starbase, right here. Yep, looks good to me. So start the starbase, add a mining ring, and that's that. Now we also got Elerium, and we have free Durantium. That's our first Elerium mine. It can be used for prototype shields and beam weapons. I should go for some military technologies, because right now I don't really have anything to defend myself with. Which is not good. This is still the very early game, but I should get some basic defenses. And there might be pirates somewhere around here. I also still need to check these two systems. There might be some colonizable planets over there. Idle colony. Right, so now I can claim one of these tiles if I want to. I could go for this one and then get another research lab. I would get a bonus both from my colony capital and from the research laboratory. So that kind of makes sense. That definitely makes sense. I could grab this one. 
this was plus one to wealth. That wouldn't be bad. I could get a market on this tile and then a market on this tile to get some extra money. But I think I prefer to prioritize research right now, so we'll claim this tile. That will take five turns, that's not too bad. And next, I actually have the spices on my second planet, was it? No, that was on my home planet, right. And this will give me plus two to wealth on adjacent tiles. Which means I could just build market centers right here. And that will be pretty good. In fact, I'll queue them up right now. Maybe even before the planetary soil upgrade. Yeah. I'm only making what? One billion of credits per turn? Which is partially because I reduced my wealth. So I could change this a little bit. It's time to start getting more money. There, 30% is decent. So that's free per turn. That's still not amazing. But that's exactly why I want the markets. So we met another race. All right then. Let's have a chat with them. I could buy some technologies. Let's see what we can get. So, tax. I could unlock small hull size. I don't think I really need that right now. How much do they want for that? 450. Yeah, that's quite a lot of money. I don't think I'm interested right now. Now, one thing I should mention about diplomacy is that you can't get deals too often. Once you get a deal with one of the races, you have to wait a bit before we can get another one. So, as you can see, I have to wait longer to trade with this player. I can't trade with them again. So if I want to buy another tech right now, I would have to buy a tech from these guys. But I don't need any of these. Yeah, I don't. I'll pass. Okay, done. So next turn. How's that colony ship? Four more turns. Will be done soon. Our research is done. So this unlocks some new improvements, including the research institute and technological capital. This is one per player. I might build this on my homeworld. On the tile that I'm claiming. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, research. What can we get? There are so many technologies that you can research at any given time. You really need to think about how exactly you want to progress. And it's pretty easy to focus on one area too much and kind of neglect the other areas. Like, for example, I kind of want to get more weapons. So let's go for targeting specialization. This will allow me to research beam weapons, missile weapons, or kinetic weapons. Or all three if I want to. We'll go for this. Plus 100 to our treasury, nice. So, the colony ship is almost done. I would like to explore a little bit more, but I will colonize this planet. One more turn. And if I get a chance to get benevolent ideology points, I will go for that because I can get a free colony ship from Benevolent. Yep, fully loaded colony ship. That's worth quite a lot of production. Speaking of production, let's see. I need another ship to explore with. So I could just get this one. That's only five turns. I just need one for exploration, really. But I could actually get a combat ship as well. Only five turns to grab this guy. This will use Durantium, but that's fine. Okay, let's grab that one. Might as well use that Durantium since we got it. There's the colony ship, so we'll colonize this planet right here. That's the only planet I know of that I can actually colonize. This is a pretty good planet, but that requires atmospheric cleansing. And it has minus 50% production, which is not that great. This world is not exactly amazing either. It's only class 4. But it's a planet, and I can colonize it, so we'll do it. So, weapons. Let's go for missile weapons, maybe. It doesn't really matter right now, because I have no idea what kind of designs the other races are using. If I knew the other races are using ships that have, let's say, strong defenses against missile weapons, then I could go for beam weapons, for example. But I have no idea, so we'll go for missile weapons because this will only take 7 turns, as opposed to 8. That's my criteria right now, basically. 
is faster. Idle Colony. Right, now we can get a factory right here. So, basic factory. That will improve production quite a bit. And incoming message. Okay. Well, whatever. We made contact with a further race. Let's have a chat. Do they have any fun technologies we could maybe buy? Advanced construction. Mega factory. I like the sound of that. They are asking for quite a lot, but I could buy this. I think I will, actually. Yeah, mega factory, solar power plant, manufacturing capital. Upgraded factory would be quite nice. I think I'll pay. 854. Pricey. But I accept. There, done. So, that gives us the mega factory, which I believe is just an upgraded Xeno factory. So, let's go to our other planet. Right here. Yep, upgrade to a mega factory. Good, good. And we can colonize the planet. And we got an ideology event. The atmosphere of this planet is thick with poisonous particulates. Thus, it does have a side effect of causing beautiful, even spectacular sunsets. And word has spread through the galaxy of their beauty. A burgeoning tourist industry has developed, resulting in many coughing tourists ignorant of the dangers of this planet. Your colonists are getting tired of stepping over their bodies. <laughs> what are your orders? Well, I want benevolent. That's plus 20% tourism. But I want it specifically for the colony ship. So we'll go for that. Alright, done. Okay, so as I said, this is not exactly the most amazing planet of all times. Plus one to manufacturing. So I would have to claim one of these tiles first. Well, I could build a factory here and then claim this tile and then build another factory here. Then I will get a bonus from this and I will get a bonus from my existing factory. That kind of makes sense. So we'll do that. As for our capital right now, well, I kind of want to upgrade that factory in a reasonable time frame. Maybe before the research institute. That's the upgraded research improvement. Because the factory will speed everything up. So, we'll do that. Incoming message. What do they want? Would you consider a gift of the knowledge of advanced construction? No, not really. I paid a lot of money for that, dude. Hmm. I'm sure you understand. We cannot give you the help you request. Yeah, I'm not giving them that. I just paid over 800 for that. There's no way. Okay, so we got... Oh yeah, that's the prototype ship. So I'll use that to explore these two systems. There might be some colonizable planets in there. And I should add my new planet as a sponsor. And we need another new colony ship, probably. I assume I'll find a colonizable planet soon enough. I assume one of these systems will have a colonizable planet. I still have some other systems in range. Oh, what's this? Economic Relic. Oh, that would be nice. That means I need a Constructor. I already have one queued up. But I'll prioritize the colony ship. For now. So, what's going on on our planets? Planetary Soil Upgrade. Right. Planetary Soil Upgrade on our Homeworld. Yep, that was this one. And then the Mega Factory. And our third planet is finishing the Basic Factory. Alright. I need to build up my military sometime soon. I already made contact with three different races. And I don't really have a military. I have that one prototype ship that I just finished. Research is done. So, we got the missile weapons. Now... I could go for missile optimization, but that would take 9 turns. That's a little bit too much. I'll pass. Coordination Tempo. What exactly is that? Colony Unique. Plus 2 to pretty much everything. And adjacent improvements. That's nice. I quite like that. But it's not that important. I can't really optimize that very well. What about engineering? 
Oh yeah, it would be good to unlock the small hull. Especially since my production is going to increase pretty soon. This will only take 5 turns, so let's go for that. And hope for some planets around here. I will get a second shipyard somewhere in this area probably. Because these penalties are pretty bad. But it's not a priority at the moment, it can wait. So come on. Are we there yet? Incoming message. Yeah, they want industrial investment. I'm not giving them technologies for free. Yeah, no, I'm not giving them technologies for free. They can buy them if they want to. If they are willing to pay me, then I would be happy to sell them. And there is a colonizable planet. Only class 6, but that's not bad. Hey, that's better than this one that I just colonized. So not bad, not bad. Still waiting for all these factories. Research is done. So this will unlock the small hull size. Let's see. Orbital specialization. Plus 10% military manufacturing. Plus 5 logistics. Plus 10% hull capacity. Interstellar specialization. That's not so important at the moment. Let's have a look at the tech tree in expansion. So I could prioritize Xenobiology. Maybe. Environmental Engineering. Terraform one salvageable tile. Yep, that's useful. So maybe we should pick Planetary Specialization. Plus one food. Plus 10% growth. Plus one total production. I do like percentage based bonuses. Because they tend to scale a little bit better. I'll go for the growth. And our production should be pretty good with all these factories. So I don't feel like I have to prioritize production at the moment. Okay. So next. What's going on here? No more planets in this system. Let's check this one then. Oh yeah, this is slightly outside of range. Okay, but we can still kind of check it out anyway. Also, since I have better technologies, I could upgrade this ship if I had enough... Wait, what? What are we missing? No, we aren't missing anything. I need to be inside my territory. In any case, I can upgrade my ship to a better ship. It's just going to cost me. And it's usually not that cheap. How much would that actually cost me? 218. Prototype Acolyte, 18. Yeah, I should definitely upgrade this. 18 attack is already pretty decent. It will cost me some of these resources, but that's what they are for in the first place. That's why I got them. A minor race. Okay, hi. I'm not sure what exactly they are. Right here, I think. Yep, that seems to be the minor race. Pretty close to us. The manga factory is almost done. And we got yet another race. Okay, hi. What? Oh, pirates attacked us. That's pretty annoying. Where was it? Right here, I think. Well, rip. Galactic event. Plus 20% soldiering. Minus 2 diplomacy. Okay, I don't like the negative diplomacy modifiers, but whatever. So I can't finish exploring this way, unfortunately, because I lack range. Which is fine, we got one planet. So that's the colony ship, and yes, I see the pirates over there. I don't think I can beat them. Well, I suppose I could try, but let's not do that. I don't want to lose that ship. Because that's pretty much my only decent military ship at the moment. I might want to be careful with that colony ship. I wouldn't want to lose it to pirates. That would be pretty bad, to say the least. Shade offer. Okay. What's going on with this? That seems like a bit of a visual glitch or what? Open borders? Well, I have a habit of not giving other races or other civilizations in other games open borders for no reason. So I'm not going to do that. But there's some funny business going on with the UI. I'm not sure what's up with that. Seems like some visual glitches. 
accelerated growth. So what's next? Good question. Oh yeah, environmental engineering. Xenobiology. Hmm. I don't think I really need that right now. Yeah, environmental engineering seems to make sense. Or maybe defense systems to improve our ships a bit. That's only four turns. Let's go for defense systems. Get out of here. Away from the pirates. I could upgrade this ship and then escort my colony ship. That definitely makes sense. I should have enough money to upgrade it. Well, there's the colony ship. I just need to be careful about the pirates. And we got attacked again. Pirates, again. Well, I'm probably not going to win this one, but hey, who knows? Yeah, I actually did win. Alright. That's great. Let's do that upgrade then. So, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with this. This seems like a visual glitch. I can upgrade. Let's see, which was the best one? This will cost me 218. Let's check our designs for the shipyard. So, which is the best design at the moment? This one, Prototype Acolyte. This will cost me Elerium, which is okay. This one is decent, but I don't have that resource. This one not so much. Yep, let's go for the prototype Acolyte. That's 18 beam strength. That's pretty good. So, command, upgrade, and we'll go for the Acolyte. Done. We're down to 247. Which is fine. Now, I might want to just wait one turn. Because it will take one turn. The upgrade is not instant, you have to wait one turn. It's not like C5 where the upgrade is instant. And now I'll just escort. I'll just merge them into one fleet like so. In case the pirates attack me. Better is safe than sorry. If that pirate fleet attacks me now, I should be able to win with it. Research, yeah, there's definitely some funny business going on. There are some visual glitches. I'm not sure what's going on with that. More research. Okay, well, this is a pretty tough choice. What's the specialization here? Plus 10% gross income. Well, that's kind of useful. I might go for that because I'll need more money. Next. Our shared borders are making my advisors irritable. <laughs> make sure you stay on your side. How about you make sure you stay on your side? It goes both ways. Let's colonize that planet already. Done. Okay, so... What are the choices? Upon landing on this world, you quickly realize that it has been inhabited before. Beneath the northern ice, explorers have found an ancient starship. They believe they can free the ship from the ice, but the resulting melt will flood much of the arable land on the planet, and the climate change will kill most of the unique native species. Leave the ship buried, gaining an extra tile to use. So that's benevolent, and it will give us a planetary tile. Set aside interior land to create refuge, refuges for the native species. Leave the ship buried, but study its technology. That's pragmatic option, plus 25% research. And malevolent. There's so much life in the universe as it is, and the free ships are hard to come by. Okay, plus 10 malevolent, minus 25% population cap, free precursor ship, much of the planet is flooded. I don't really want malevolent ideology points all that much. I think I'm going to split my points between pragmatic and benevolent right now. I'm actually kind of leaning towards benevolent now, when I checked all the ideology bonuses. Benevolent has some pretty decent ones. And extra planetary tile is nice. Then again, plus 25% research is also nice. But the planetary tile means extra flexibility. And this planet was class 6, I believe. So let's go for the extra planetary tile. 
What do we have here? Plus three population, plus an approval. Okay, the population is nice. Can I take advantage of that? Well, kind of. I suppose I could. I can terraform one tile. Let's start from a factory. Or... What can I start with? Yeah, probably a factory. Not the best use of my first building. But still, production. I don't want to build a factory here though, that's pretty bad. Hmm. I want to take advantage of that population bonus. So, Xeno Farm. Nah, let's just build a factory, that will speed up everything else. So, factory, brushed. And I can decide what's next on the next turn. Shipyard needs something new. Oh yeah, I will add that planet. It will be a pretty terrible sponsor for this shipyard. Well, actually, that penalty is not as high as I thought it will be. It's lower than from this planet. And what can we build? Some ships. Just to defend ourselves. If it's going to be necessary. And it might be necessary. So that's what we'll go for. Yep, this one. This doesn't require any special resources. But I could go for a prototype. Nah. I don't have any more Elerium for this one. No, this is not Elerium. But I don't have that either. Let's go for this one. That's 10 turns. That's reasonable. And I want to have some defenses in case someone tries to attack me. We got a new constructor, so what can I use it for? Good question. The economic cleric down there. Not a terrible idea. I already have one, but more money is never a bad thing. I need to explore this area a bit more. I could explore it with this ship, but pirates. I don't think that's such a brilliant idea. Not at all. Maybe if I give it an escort, that's going to be much better. So, ideology, now. Let's see. Oh yeah, I can pick a fully loaded colony ship. That's pretty much the reason why I went for Benevolent. So, we'll grab that. Where exactly do I want to send it, though? I still can't colonize this planet right here. Well, I assume there's going to be some planets somewhere around here. I have a lot in range. I can't colonize this one just yet. I don't have atmospheric cleansing and I'm nowhere close to having atmospheric cleansing. Well, this is already colonized, unfortunately. I need to check this area. There might be a planet somewhere around here. So that's what we'll do. We got the ship, that's the important part. We'll check this area out. You go this way. Next. Need to be careful with pirates. With 18 attack, I should be able to just beat the pirates without too many problems. Just need to be careful with that colony ship. So any planets? There's a pirate fleet right there. No useful planets just yet. Let's kill the pirates then. At least I should be able to win this fight. That's the constructor. You were supposed to go this way. Unless I manage to find something useful elsewhere. Okay, let's do it. Should be able to win this. They do have more hit points. Only one way to find out. Yep, we win. Nice one. So let's see if we can find something useful. Is that a pirate shipyard? I guess so. I don't think I can destroy that. No, probably not. Okay then. I probably don't want a colony right next to a pirate shipyard. Yeah, it would be a good idea to get rid of that. Should be doable once I get my new ship. Combined with the prototype one. I'm pretty much gambling on this system having a useful planet. 
because there is no other reason why I would be moving my colony ship that way. Research is done. Now. Okay, influence growth, morale. Plus on diplomacy bonus. Oh yeah, this is a pretty useful take. Plus 10% diplomatic trade value. What else can we do? Oh yeah, some of these. Plus one moves. Plus two ship range. Extra ship range is nice, but I think I prefer extra moves. So let's go for that. Is there a planet here or not? No, that's not a useful planet. Okay. Well, I guess moving a colony ship all the way here was not that useful after all. Unless we can still find something. No, I don't want to declare war. Why would I want to do that? There might still be a planet over there. United Planets. Oh yeah. In order to better assist all the races of the galaxy, United Planets elects a chair being that will lead the UP for the next four sessions. Whose duty is to choose which proposals should be presented. The winning race is appointed as the UP chair for the duration. So, I can vote for myself. So, vote for myself. Pretty much. Decision reached. What, really? We are going to be the chair. Alright, I'm okay with that. That's not a useful planet. Oh well, that kind of sucks. They don't like our shared borders. Whatever. Well, we need to send that colony ship elsewhere. There's nothing I can actually colonize right now. I don't think I can reach this. I could start a starbase. I mean, this starbase right here will extend my range significantly. So I could check these planets out. I assume one of them will have something colonizable. Systems, I mean, not planets. But I need an escort for my colony ship. Let's go this way then. Start a starbase on the next turn. There, that's close enough. So, starbase. And this will require a Xeno Archaeology module. There, done. So, what's that bonus going to be? Need to wait one turn to find out. Hyperdrive specialization, that's plus one moves. I think I want some military tech now, that would be nice. Or maybe expansion. What can we get here? Xeno Biology. Oh yeah, environmental engineering. Right. To terraform one salvageable tile. Let's go for that one. This way. Nice black hole. Oh yeah, this is out of my range, unfortunately. Yep, I can't reach any of these systems with this guy. Okay, fine. But I can reach it with my colony ship. The only problem is that if the colony ship gets attacked by pirates... It can't really defend itself. So it's kind of risky sending it this way without an escort. But I'm going to do it anyway. Some of these might already be colonized. That's definitely a possibility. So, shipyard. We got that new ship. Now I could get rid of the pirate base. Could get one more still. Maybe. Yeah, let's get one more. I like having... A decent fleet. In case someone decides to declare war on us, which is not impossible. Next. Would be nice to colonize one of these planets down there. Oh, what's this? Oh, nice. I need a mining starbase over there. That's the one strategic resource that I'm missing at the moment. So that's definitely useful. Idle colony. That's our capital. So, everything is upgraded. 32 turns to get technological capital. That's a little bit too long. For my taste, that's way too long. I can't really get tourism with anything just yet, so I'll have to pass on that. This was plus 1 to wealth. I could also get a market center here, which would also give me extra wealth. Yeah, might as well take advantage of these bonuses. 
That's what they are for. Keep moving, I need to merge this with my other ship. So this one. And then attack the pirate shipyard. The colony ship is almost there. Fingers crossed for a colonizable planet. If someone actually attacks a long range colony like this, oh great, pirates. Well, there is a colonizable planet here, but the pirates might attack me, which is going to be awful. They actually didn't, wow. I think I got lucky. I got extremely lucky with that, holy crap. <laughs> the pirates were one move away from destroying my colony ship. This was risky, but apparently the risk was worth it. On this planet, there is a specific species of fish, which seems to possess a form of collective intelligence. The fish seem to become more intelligent the larger the group they're in. And in the largest skulls, and the largest skulls can clearly communicate with us. And even seem to understand advanced concepts like space travel and where we're from. The fish also have several concerns about the way our colony is being built. What are your orders? Do everything we can to accommodate the fish to ensure all future colony development is run by them first. This is their home and we will benefit more if we're gracious guests. In the meantime, do what we can to study their collectivized intelligence. Plus 20% research, minus 10% manufacturing. The second one, continue to seek guidance and counsel of the fish, though let's not forget our place here. We're the ones that can actually do space travel. Plus 10 pragmatic, plus 10% research. Malevolent. Warn the fish that we're not popular in this part of space and that now they won't be popular either. Enlist them to supplement our defensive perimeter. If anyone invades, get the fish to clog the enemy's guns with their dead. <laughs> I think I'll go for the pragmatic. I'm pretty much splitting my ideology points between benevolent and pragmatic right now. I wanted that free colony ship from benevolent. Now that I got it, I could focus on Pragmatic a bit more. And I do like the research bonus. I also like plus 20% but I don't like manufacturing penalty. Okay, this one. So what do we have here? Red stones. Plus 3 to wealth. Plus 1 to influence on adjacent tiles. Plus 2 to tourism and plus 1 to influence on adjacent tiles. Okay, so I need influence on this one. Pretty much, yes. So I could grab that and then spend 7 turns building a factory. Which means that's going to be the consulate. Unless I want something else. Hmm. Well, I could get plus 20% influence. That's definitely better. From the temple. Ministry. Yeah, that's a bit... Excessive. This is one per player, so I don't want to waste that. Okay, let's grab a tempo on this tile. So that's going to be free. Because it's rushed. And it's also plus to morale, so that's going to help with approval. And then we'll build a factory. That seems reasonable. Done. But anyway, this has been a pretty long episode. So I'm going to finish it here and continue in next one. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.